What's up, guys? This is D Brown with Trackheads. I'd like to welcome to another episode. So today, we're in the gym, right? We have a workout Wednesday in the gym. Um, I actually had a, a workout earlier today, so I decided to double back with that in the gym. I haven't really done two a days like that in a while. So right here, we have what I call um, Olympic. I call them Olympic complexes, right? So you first you start out with the RDO, then you uh, after the RDO you do a hand clean, and then after the hand clean you do a Olympic push press. So right into the right from the hand clean. So it's RDOs, hand clean, and then an overhead push press. So this is my second time doing them. Uh, really, really good workout. The weight the weight isn't too heavy just because I'm still learning uh, the how to do it and making sure I have a good technique. But definitely a challenging workout. Um, for this one, I had times five. I do three sets of these, um, and I do them in, in, in a circuit. So um, once I'm done with that, I go ahead and do some side planks, uh, leg raises. So my body's forced to hold the position of a side plank, which works my obliques. But then also the leg raise helps uh, strengthen my glute minimus and medius, and also my adductor's ability to move my leg up and down. So it's a really good workout just to have really good uh, hip strength hip uh, coordination, uh, hip stability, uh, core stability, um, and just making sure that I'm not just doing a side plank, it just makes it a little bit harder. It's a really good variation just to kind of switch things up a bit. Uh, my my uh, obliques were definitely burning on that one. This one is called uh, Upward Rose. Um, it's really good with strengthening my shoulders, strengthening my traps. I just wanted to make sure that I had good technique, kept my core tight, kept my glutes tight to make sure my back wasn't affected. And it really helps me with the pull phase of a hand clean, just making sure that I, uh, you know, have the technique down and um, making sure that my traps are recruited properly, especially as I go heavier in weight. The last part of this uh, circuit is going to be single leg hip thrust. A pretty simple exercise. I'm just pushing through my heel, making sure I contract my glutes, keeping my core tight and just making sure I have really good technique. Um, it's really good to do single leg versions of this as well, just to make sure that both glutes are being recruited when I'm going through these exercises. So that's my first set. Now I'm going straight back into the second complex, which is now it's 155 pounds. So um, I gave myself three minutes rest in between each uh, circuit. So like I said, right now I have four reps. So when it comes to this kind of complexes, it's just very important to make sure that uh, quality is what I'm looking for. So the movement of the bar when I'm doing my hand clean, uh, good form with the RDLs, making sure I'm not using my back and I'm using my hips. With the overhead press, I'm trying to make sure I fully lock out and I keep my hips and my and my center of mass right under the bar to make sure I don't lose control of it right there. It's making sure I keep my core tight and controlling the weight back down. Um, so instead of upward rows, right now I'm doing pull-ups. So I'm doing it with a neutral grip. And with the pull-ups, I like to call it pull-ups, not chin-ups, because I'm making sure that my chest is hitting that bar. Um, so I'm going all the way down, full extension of my arms, and then pulling myself all the way up. I did times 15. It burned like hell. This one is a new exercise I've been training, uh, working on. It's uh, hip thrust, but it's kind of like you're holding it. It's like a glute bridge, but you're moving your hips, your hamstrings back and forth. And it really is really good eccentric exercise for those hamstrings to make them stronger. Um, and after that, I go into my last rep, which is 175 pounds. So this one is only times three, I believe. Um, and it was difficult. I'm not going to lie. It was difficult. Um, but that first that first uh, overhead press was really nice. Um, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. My legs are hurting. Uh, not hurting, but just feel drained. Uh, this really taxes your central nervous system a lot. I was in a full sweat by the time I hit this third one. Um, and just trying to make sure that I really keep my focus as I'm, you know, pressing 175 pounds over my head. Uh, for some people, it may not be a lot of weight, but for me, I don't usually do push press because I, my background is track. There's no reason for me to have weight over my head. But, you know, like I said, I wanted to try this just a full body exercise and just making sure I'm doing it right. So this is my last set. Making sure I move that bar fast. Good catch. And then I'm trying to overhead press that weight, keeping my core tight. Boom. Lock out and then drop it weight. All right, then I go straight into upward rows. Again, keeping my, my focus on the technique, imagining the bar, um, you know, is that bar I just lifted and just making sure I keep a good technique, work on my traps, excuse me, and making sure the technique is in a real good spot. 
And then pretty much after that, like I said, I, I, I do those same glute exercises. But usually after I do those, uh, I do weight room stuff, I like to finish with functional uh, work, uh, exercises. So right now I'm doing lunges. I usually do it for about 20 meters. Usually I do it with weights, but for, for today my legs were a little tired. So um, I just did that. After that, I like to do um, high knees and then I like to go uh, do side lunges, excuse me, side squats. And these really work your glute minimus and medius as well. And then I finish up with some squat hops. So the squat hops are a really good exercise, like I said, just to make sure it's a, it's a real good functional exercise to work on explosiveness. And then the true last exercise I did was single leg RDLs with a knee drive. So like I said, all these exercises are really cool. Uh, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I've been doing. I know I haven't been posting in a while. I look to be more consistent, but thank you guys for watching. This is Steve Brown with Trackheads. Peace.